Hello, and welcome to Keep Information Systems Simple video on Microsoft O365 averages. In this video, we have students that took two exams, exam one, here's their score, exam two, there's their score, and we want to know the average of each exam. What was the average of all of the students? And so there are several different ways that we can calculate this average. So we created two cells, exam one average and exam two average. We're going to come up into exam one average and you have the option of coming over and clicking and using your functions option. We do the drop down menu. We can see that the average function pops up here for me or if it doesn't pop up, you can go to more functions uh, commonly used. Again, if it shows up here, you can use that function. In this case, it does. But if it didn't, you could come down and go averages a math and trig formula or this is in all and scroll through. Now, because we know it's the average and, we, and Microsoft Excel is going to help us, my preference is just to click the equal sign equals and then start typing in average equals the average. And you can see Microsoft Excel pops up and says average returns the average arithmetic mean of its arguments, which can be numbers, names, arrays, or references that contain numbers. So, yep, I want to use the average function here. So I'm going to double click on it, equals average, and then it's telling me enter number one and number two. Now, in this case, I've got more than two numbers. I'm going to just click and drag a range. Give this a range, A2 to A22, close my parentheses, and the average on exam one was a 49.4285743. But I want to format that, so I'm going to right mouse click on that cell and come down to number format. I'm going to tell it it's a number and I want to use two decimal points. Now notice that 4285, Microsoft Excel will round automatically for us. And so eight is going to round this up. So this should be 49.43 when we tell it two decimal points. Say, okay, 49.43. And because we used our relative cell reference of A2 to A22, when we want to recreate this formula for the average on exam two, we can simply drag over. And to be sure, we can look and go, yep, it did the average of B2 to B22. Average function, very common. Again, several different ways you can do it. My preference is equals and start typing average. It'll put in the formula for us. If you want to use the functions option, you can do that as well. Thank you very much.